While at the Sacramento Reptile Expo, our Venom manager Kale was able to speak with Rom Whitaker, founder of the King Cobra Conservancy. Hey Rom, so this is our King Cobra here. We're just looking at this is uh, Kong. Yeah. And he's our star attraction right now. It's really neat to be able to, to have you come here with your specialty in King Cobras. Uh, well, he's looking really good. He's good. really good. Yeah. He comes from Malaysia, did you yeah. say? Yeah. She's a Malaysian. Okay. And when he, when you got him over here, was he already an adult or a sub adult? Yeah, so we, we've had him about eight years. Oh, wow. You know, when we started doing radio telemetry with King, wild king cobras, we were very worried that the king cobras would get used to the people and not behave naturally. So we always told the people who were tracking the king cobras with the radio antenna, stay at least 30 or 40 meters, you know, 30 or 40 yards away from the sea, and never disturb them. So at the beginning, that's the way it was. Okay, after about six months, when the king cobra, you suddenly realize he doesn't give a damn that we're there. And he, start, he just can, he or she, because yeah. we were following females too, will just keep doing what they do naturally. Wow. And pretty soon, while well, I went and sat with them a couple of, no, more than a couple of times, I was with these trackers, and we would just sit very quietly, and one of the females started coming straight toward us, and I was a little bit, not, not worried, but yeah. I said, we, we don't really want to interact too closely. And the guy who was a tracker, he'd been there nine months with this female, he said, don't worry, just sit quietly. And sure enough, the snake comes, doesn't even look up to see who it was, came right over my foot. He said, all right, okay, she's calm, she's cool, collected. So it's all right. So we gave up this idea of trying to tell the people, don't disturb the snakes or don't let them know you're there. They're quite calm and quite... That's amazing. Telemetry is an effective tool for herpetologists when tracking venomous snakes. And much like Rom's team in Agumbe, Kale utilizes this technique to monitor rattlesnake behavior here in Scottsdale. So we're tracking Blossom. And last time I found her, she was in the neighborhood in somebody's backyard. And we're starting to walk back to the neighborhood in the signal. Okay, thought the snake might have come into this yard, but it looks like it's not. Still over here in the desert. You hear how that, that beeping's getting louder? That's how you can tell you're getting closer. Whether it's being used to track rattlesnakes or cobras, the information that researchers can learn from telemetry has the potential to teach us how to better coexist with the natural world.